Hold on. I won't be a second. The beast seemed peckish, so I gave it a taste of my axe. I know, I know. As Orianger never tires of reminding me. An axe ill becometh the hand of a scholar. <sighs> what can I say? I like axes. To hear my mother tell it, I came into this world holding one. And it's not as if it stopped me picking up a quill, is it? <laughs> I often think of the man who introduced me to the joys of learning. He's one of the reasons I decided to come to Eorzea. Him and my excruciatingly stiff childhood friend. Considering how unalike we are, it's a wonder we ever got on. <laughs> <sighs> the world's a strange old place, isn't it? Aye, that ought to do it. So far, so good. At these concentrations, it shouldn't matter too much if something goes awry. Just enough ether to make it interesting. Did you see that? The way the crystal glowed? The siphon works, I'm happy to say. With a few refinements, it should satisfy our appetite for ether. Which just leaves the small matter of forging our blade. I'm not sure how to go about it just yet, but I swear to find a way. I'll put a blade in your hands if it's the last thing I do. He senses me. A useful talent. Anassian, are they on to us? By your brand, I see you are an Archon of Charlian, keeper of knowledge, seeker of truth, meddler. I don't know what the hell's you're saying, but I don't much like your tone. <laughs> Your instincts serve you well. But come, be not unsettled on my account. That lovely brow was not made for frowns. Ah, uh, but I waste my breath. Let me direct my words to one who understands them. We meet at last, warrior of light. I am Nabrialis. And you have long been a thorn in my side. I suffered the overweening presence of La Habrea that men might host the power of gods, only for you to undo my hard work. Oh, bugger. Oh. Do settle down. You must concede that I acted in self-defense. But what's this? I do not sense the blessing of light. Oh, dear. Could it be that frail Heidlin has forgotten her champion? This I did not foresee. Shorn of light as you are, you are no longer a threat. And better yet, the seal is broken. Now is the time to claim the staff. With it in my grasp, I shall rise above them all and take my place at Lord Zodiac's right hand. What did that bastard want with us? Nabrialis, he calls himself. <laughs> With charm like that, I'll bet he has maidens falling at his feet. Unconscious. But this staff... You say just talking about it had the bastard grinning like a brat on his name day. <laughs> Must be quite a staff. Oh, gods. He means Tupsimati, Master Louis Soir's staff. Minfilia's in danger! We have to get back to the Rising Stones!
You too. So, you were able to divine my intent. What now, warrior of light? Ah, but that name is no longer fitting. You have become decidedly dull and quite incapable of barring my entry. What do you mean? You truly do not know. Then I suppose it is only right that I enlighten you. The blessing of light kept you and your fellow meddlers safe. It was that which prevented my kind from entering your domain. My kind, I say, though it had no power over the likes of Elidibus and La Habrea. Being of this world, they could come and go as they please, while I could only look on. But I need look no longer. Now that the seal is gone, I mean to act. Unlike the others, I am not given to waiting. I shall take that staff and bring about the next rejoining. Rejoining? Then it was your doing! The Isle of Val, the Scholars, all of it! You will not harm her! Why must you insist on forcing my hand? Did you learn nothing from our last meeting? Ah, but I forget. My words fall upon deaf ears. The staff is but a broken relic. A memorial to the departed. What possible use could you have for it? What use? You mean to say that all this time you kept the key, never knowing what it was you possessed? The Staff Tupsimati, or rather the stone tablet it bears, is host to a great power. Together with the Horn, it can be used to draw vast quantities of ether from its bearer's surroundings. How else do you think Louis Soi was able to invoke the power of the Twelve without making them an offering of crystals? Summoning requires not only prayer, but a profusion of ether. Even a child knows that. If I did not know before, you may be certain I do now. But above all, I know that we cannot allow this staff to fall into your hands. I will die before I let you take it. Insufferable woman. I would happily end your miserable life here and now. Alas, Elidibus would never let me hear the end of it. Very well. If you will not part with the staff, I will take you too. them quickly before the rift closes
You're safe. Thank the Twelve. You may have bested me this day, but what of the next? What of all the days to come? Remember, light no longer holds sway here. I may return whensoever I wish, again and again and again. Eventually, you will falter, and the staff will be mine. Until next time, Scions. There will be no next time. This is the end. What? What trickery is this? No. No. Cannot. No. Use Troop Samati to gather ether. Quickly, before he breaks free! Concentrate! Call to mind the time you struck down La Habrea with the Blade of Light! Won't it work? Is it because we lack the blessing of light? Damn it. So much ether. And it still isn't enough. Fools! No mortal prison can contain me! I shall make you pay for your insolence! to our plea. Lend us your divine light. Why can you not hear us? Do our words no longer reach you? If only we had a bit more ether. What are you doing? Master Louisois, I understand now the choice you made. In death, there is life. Farewell, Uriange. You daft old coot.
Moon Breeder. She's... She's gone. You did it, my friend. The Asian is dead. This device is a legacy of Moonbreeder's toils and sacrifice. I shall hold on to it for safekeeping. Minfelia, uh, are you all right? I am. Oh, we were surveying northern Thanalan when we received the distress call. We returned as swiftly as we were able. It seems you have everything in hand, however. What happened here? Where is Moonbreeder? She gave her life to temper the Blade of Light. I... I have no words. Rather than await the inevitable, she took her fate into her own hands. Does... does Arianje know? My friend... There is something I must tell you. I heard all, my lady. The moon sinketh, taking her leave of the heavens. Yet her passing heraldeth the coming of a new day. <laughs> Moonbreeder hath fulfilled her destiny, hath she not? Long ago, far across the seas in the Charleian motherland, Moonbreeder and I did study under the sage tutelage of Master Louis Soi. Full off did he impress upon us that knowledge existeth to serve the greater good. This sentiment, however, was contrary to the nation's policy of neutrality, which censured intercedence in the affairs of foreign lands. In spite of vehement opposition, he founded the Circle of Knowing and journeyed hitherto the heart of Eorzea. Through his noble sacrifice was the realm spared its doom. Yet this great soul, whom all should rightly have honored, was branded a pariah in his own land. His peers did accuse him of forsaking his duty as a man of learning and of meddling in the course of history. When he left Charleon behind, Master Louis Soir gave no word to signal his intent to Moonbreeder. Close as they were, as master and disciple, she was deeply wounded by the sudden exclusion from his confidence. Above all, however, she was confused. Try as she might, she could ill comprehend her master's motive. The slanders that were heaped upon him after his passing served only to inflame the turmoil within her. For years upon end, she knew not what to believe. Torn as she was, twixt the man whom she revered and the man who forsook her and his duty both. The Louis Soir I knew would never forsake his duty, much less one of his own. This I know full well, my lady. Twas not for want of love that Master Louis Soir hid his intent. He but desired that Moonbreeder discover her own path, free of the shadow of his influence. Long did I contemplate revealing the truth to her, and long did I hold my peace. After all, was it not Master Louis Soir's wish that she come to the truth unaided? Uh, I told myself it was, and resolved to let her suffer. 
Knowingly did I deny my friend the comfort she craved. And now she hath gone to her rest, with doubt still in her heart. Speakest thou in earnest? Did Moonbreeder truly come to understand Master Louisois' will before the end? Uh, the realization hath set her free. She may now find the peace which hath for so long eluded her. Oh, Moonbreeder, my dearest, how I shall miss thee. Moonbreeder gave her life that we might possess the means to defeat the Asians. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Let us continue her work on the Blade of Aether and see it to completion. My lady, I would mourn Moonbreeder in mine own way. I beg your permission to return to the Waking Sands. Of course, my friend. Take all the time you require. We shall be here should you have need of us.
Forgive me, Moonbreeder. Had I been quicker or wiser, but I was not, and you paid the price. But you would not suffer us to wallow in our sorrow, would you? You would tell us to pick ourselves up and get on with it. And so we shall. We shall defend this realm and her people to the last. Life for death. A fair exchange. Other bargains will be struck. <laughs> <laughs>